With just two data lines, Rx and Tx, a serial UART interface can send and receive data. It's simple and easy to use, it's implemented in many microcontrollers, USB to serial converters are cheap and available everywhere and you can even build a simple UART from just a few TTL chips. For example, that's what I've done for my minimal CPU system here. I'll put links to it in the description. But while it takes only one wire plus ground to transmit data from your PC to this device, unfortunately the sender never really gets to know whether the receiver is ready to receive or busy processing data. This is usually not a problem as long as both sender and receiver have large buffers in place for storing rapidly incoming data. But what if our minimalistic receiver here doesn't have any buffer and also is just not fast enough to process every incoming datum as it arrives? Let's provoke such a case just for demonstration purposes. The built-in OS of the minimal accepts text that we paste to the terminal as keystroke input. However, after each line feed, the entered data need to be parsed and written into RAM. Now, if we paste multi-line data at a high rate, the minimal can't keep up. But as soon as we introduce a slight delay after each line, let's say 20 milliseconds, everything works all right. Unfortunately, this delay varies with the selected CPU clock rate, baud rate, and even worse, can also be program specific. For example, pasting text into Minimal's native text editor remains problematic, since the Minimal often gets busy even after receiving just a single character, for example during scrolling. What if we could come up with some sort of handshaking mechanism, such that the PC as a sender waits for the receiver to acknowledge successful processing? Well, enter RTS-CTS flow control. I would like to give credit here to a fellow Minimal CPU user called New Natural who suggested to use RTS-CTS for the minimal. But more on that later. First, let's explore how RTS-CTS actually works. I'll quickly hook up my PC scope to the TX pin of my trusted USB to serial converter and see if I can receive something. Let me open a terminal window in TiraTerm and there you see a datagram. A low start bit, 8 data bits and two high stop bits, as we've configured. Now, as soon as we switch on RTS-CTS, nothing gets through. That's because the sender now pays attention to its CTS input. CTS stands for You are clear to send and is active low. So for handshaking, the receiver needs to output a signal that connects to the sender's CTS input. For historic reasons, that receiver's output signal is named RTS, but I'd like to call it RTR for I am ready to receive. So for a two-way connection, the signals look like this. Since the PC usually has a large receive buffer and also very high processing speed, it has no difficulty processing incoming data. So for now, let's focus on the problematic case of the PC being the sender instead. As a dummy receiver, I've programmed this Arduino Uno to listen to the TX line of the sender here on pin 12. As soon as this line goes low at the start of a datagram, the Arduino will pull its pin 13 high for 200 microseconds. I will use this line as an RTS output and connect it to the sender's CTS input. Now in theory there should at least be a 200 microseconds time delay between each datagram send. Let's take a look. Ok, now I'll paste a short string to the terminal. Well, things do not look good here. The sender, which in my case is a FTDI-232 chip, is indeed halted by our RTS signal, but it always appends a second datagram, which obviously already was in the send pipeline and could not be stopped by our RTS-CTS. Now that's unfortunate. I really didn't expect that. Let us check the behavior of my other two USB to serial ICs. I have a board using the CH340G, for example. Now, this looks a lot better. CH340 stops sending data immediately after CTS, as expected. Let me also check this CP2102 board I have lying around. Well, that also works as expected, but it outputs 3.3 volts only. 
which might not be enough to drive the 74HCXX logic reliably. Let us proceed with the CH340 then. Now how can we add a circuit to the minimal CPU that generates this magic RTS signal? Well, it turns out that we don't have to. NeoNatural pointed out that it is already being generated by the circuit as is. Let's dive into the schematic of the receiver module real quick. The RX line triggers a set reset latch here. As soon as RX goes low with the incoming datagram, the Q output goes high, indicating that the receiver is now busy. And Q will remain high until the minimal CPU has processed that datum. Now that's exactly what we need. What I will do now is find out where this Q output is located on the PCB and add a botch wire from there to the CTS pin of the UART connector. How easy is that? Okay, here's the wire. Now let's fire up the CPU, enable RTS-CTS, get rid of that line delay and see how things work. Okay, so far everything seems good. Let's paste something to the terminal. Wow, that looks promising. The upload was way faster since we got rid of that line delay. Let's now paste some source code into the native text editor, which left us with a lot of garbage characters before. And wow, pasting text now also works flawlessly. I'd call this one an easy success, I guess. I have also tried the FTDI board and it didn't work, as was to be expected. The CP212 did work sort of most of the time, but every now and then it missed a character showing sporadically a similar behavior as the FTDI232 chip. And that was not due to the 3.3 volts, so that was a bit of a disappointment. To sum up, only the CH340G USB to serial converter seems usable for RTS-CTS handshaking with my minimal CPU. I think I'll keep it in place for now for that extra upload speed knowing that I can always go back to the non-handshaking solution by reinserting that 20 milliseconds line delay such that the minimal works with any of the three converters. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you got a thing or two out of all this. Take care. Bye.